Hello, my name is Jörg Gerke from PC Instruments and today I would like to show you how to use our PC DFG series. The PC DFG series has four models which have all different measuring end values. There are the models PC LFG5, PC LFG10, PC LFG20 and P the number stands for the end measuring area, number in Newton. The measuring instruments of the PCDFG series have five buttons. Four buttons with a white background and one button with a blue background. It is a touch operating panel. You only have to touch the buttons. The blue button is the on off button. If you touch this more than two seconds, the instrument turns itself on. The white buttons have all a double function. One function is for the measuring and one function for the menu. The zero button or the arrow up button had in the menu the function arrow and up and during the measurement the zero function. So you can note the measurement. The menu or enter button ensures that you can go into the menu and when you are in the menu the point you are to verify with enter. The send exit button saves the data in measuring mode and in a menu you jump one position back. With the peak button or arrow down button you can switch doing the measuring back and forth and in the menu jump one point down. Let's go into the menu by touching the menu button. There you can see the top group, in the area test setup, I can set the unit, I can group the measured values, I can set tolerances, I can choose the test mode, set the peak time and set all my other values. In the mode memory art, I can choose if I only want to save one measurement or a continual measurement and I can look at the save values or delete them. The printer setup, I can print the save data over the MD8 interface. In system, I can set the display over the power off function, the lighting, the key sound, date and time, the password and over the Air232 interface. Furthermore you can set the language, the calibration mode is only for the personal of PC instruments intended and in the area of information the serial number is shown. Before every measurement, not the instrument with the zero key. In the position you want to do the measurement later. And then pick up the load and make sure the load is in the axis of the instrument. A deviation of the axis is not allowed like I demonstrate here and leads to false measuring results. Choose with the peak button the appropriate mode if you want it valued and subsequently you can read the data or save them. That was my short operating instructions for the PC DFG series. Further information you can find at www.pc-instruments.com Thank you very much for your attention and lots of fun in measuring.